Hello, and welcome to part 4 of creating custom content management systems using PHP and MySQL. Now at this point, if you're paying attention well, you realize that what we have created here is a one page template, an index file, that is capable of rendering up to thousands of pages and all have the same design scheme and flow going on. And so it makes website management really easy and you can have lots of data archived or indexed in your system. Alright, so now that we have this system set up to where this little magic page is going to render out everything from the database according to what's clicked, we have to make sure we put in one security measure because there's one little hole that we created by allowing the or making it to where the URL string up top here tells the page what to be. So when I click about, you can see it says PID2. If I click home, it says PID1. But what if I put PID ER? No page data renders because there's nothing like that in the database. So what I'm going to do is show you how to remove all letters and other characters. For instance, if somebody puts quotes or the word or or whatever in there. We'll make sure that it's only numbers that can be put in there and then when it's a number that's in the system the page will come up. If it's a number that's not in the system you can you can account for that in ways but I'm, I'm not going to because nobody really should be tampering with uh, this number up here. It should always be automatic according to what's clicked down here. So let me show you that really quick. Alrighty. Here we are in the index page. Let's go to the code view. And actually, I'll show you really quick. Uh, let me put. Oh, and I stuck a div in here to make sure this thing keeps its size. No matter if there's only one or two lines, it'll still have some, some length to the page. And if it's more than what's in there, it will show it too. If the page content is bigger than this area, it'll still show it vertically. Okay, so now let's get this line in here that's going to clean out all letters and characters from that URL string so it's nothing but a number we can assure that our database will not get hacked. Okay, so let's grab this line. I made a regex that's going to replace all non numeric characters, non-number characters. So all we have to do is put that right here where we determine which page ID to use in the query. So if there's no get PID, then we make it page 1, the home page. Else, page ID equals whatever values in the URL string, and that's where they can tamper with your database if you let them, because they can uh, just type into the URL string, hit return, and your script will process it. So when your script processes it, you want to do this. Now what this line does, it uses the a reg replace function, the PHP function, and we use a regex, a reg expression, and what it does is it knocks out everything but numbers, 0 through 9. And you can see what it does is it claims what to allow here, and if you wanted letters, you can just go A through Z, and then capital A through Z. And that would allow all letters, too. But we just want numbers here. And you see right here, it's going to replace it with nothing. So basically, it just takes all characters that are non-numbers and replaces it with nothing. And let's see if we can get an example of it. Mm -hmm. Let's echo... And really, this is the last thing we have to do before we can make the back end. The little forms that will allow the admin or your client to create pages and edit pages without having HTML knowledge. Okay, so now, let's see. Let's just echo this value. That way you can see it. I'm going to show you what it does. Let's go to design view and pop it in right here in the footer. Let's just give this a couple of spaces, a couple of dashes, and right there we're going to echo 
this value. All right. Now let's go and put this on the web. Index.php. We we'll put it up, and let's go and refresh the page. Or we can just hit home. All right. Now, you see that little one down there? That's this value. Now let me put a two in here, and you'll see what it does. It goes to the about page, or you can just hit the links, and it shows the ID down there. You see? Now watch if I put some letters in there and a one. See, it's still just a one down here that we effectively stripped all those letters out. Okay, so now in part five, we'll start our little back end system that will allow yourself or your client, whoever is operating the system, to create pages and edit pages and all that good stuff. And I'm just going to show you a simple admin system or back end admin center. And then that might help you get your creative juices flowing so you can create really complex systems. Okay.